friends, welcome back to my channel. Sleigh bells ringing, diamonds bling, carol singing. And welcome back to Vlogmas day five. I just got back from working out at the gym and I got my squat rack package, or my power rack, it's a power rack. Like I've been talking about for forever on my story, I ordered a power rack and I'm so excited that I got it. So I just thought I would show you guys my little process of setting it up and show you kind of how my little garage workout space has all come together. All right, so we got three packages here. And let me kind of walk you through what I'm thinking. Here's my wall. <laughs> I can't put the squat rack right here, which is where I kind of want to put it, but the garage, it's gonna hit the garage, definitely. I think I'm gonna just have to put it here, but I don't want it in front of this little part of the wall that I didn't finish, and I didn't put part of my wall here just because there was outlets and I didn't want to mess with all of that. I just needed a spot where I could record, and you know, if I just stand like here, then you don't even see the side walls really. I just thought that'd be a nice little aesthetic. I'm probably gonna end up putting it just right here. And then I can do my free weight stuff like more in that area. I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. That's not roasting. I unpacked all the boxes, here they are. I actually, I don't know <laughs> what I was expecting. I thought there'd be more things, but you know, this makes sense. This looks like everything you need to build a squat rack. And here is the part that looks a little bit intimidating. There are just so, look, look at all of these screws. Oh no, and they're heavy. I mean, I guess that makes sense because, oh, those are not screws. I mean, I'm really hoping this is like building Ikea furniture. It just kind of all goes together. <laughs> Oh, view manual online. Okay, well, isn't that how long is this manual that I need to look it up online? Or were they just saving trees? Because that's cool too. Okay, they're probably just saving trees. So far, I've organized everything that I need to build these things. Now, the thing is, the issue I have with this is it says, you know, like an, a nut M16 or a hex bolt M16. Like, I don't, I don't know what those mean. <sighs> this is literally the instructions. This is what it's telling me. But I don't know which one of these things is which thing. This instruction manual is like six pages. Not even, I feel like it's like four. Why is it so short? <laughs> okay, we're gonna figure this out. Update, I've figured it out. So I numbered each one so I know which one goes to which number on the manual and it's actually pretty simple now. Basically for all the sides that we're building we do 12 with 9 and then we'll stick that through the little side to connect the two together and on the other side of that we're gonna do a washer so then it goes 9 and then 10, which is this squiggly one, and then this one. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering a simple phrase. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas. I rested my dumbbells on two of the legs just because I don't want to bolt into the concrete, obviously, because we're just renting this place. Like, it doesn't feel like it's going to tip over, but better safe than sorry. But yeah, we got a little workout space, friends. It's the next day. Last night, I finished building my squat rack, 
I also went to Target last night and I bought, let me show you real quick. I picked up some wallpaper and I thought I would just wallpaper these cracks right here. I thought it was cute. I'm gonna do these ones too. I just haven't gotten to those ones yet. And I hung up on my bands there. I don't know, I like the vibe of it. I'm so excited that I have the squat rack now. So I have this thing where I randomly check a bunch of different sites to see if they have any fitness equipment in stock. And I also found some more bumper plates last night on Rogue Fitness. Signing up for their notifications really does work because they. I got an email right away when they had more plates in stock so I snagged those up really quick and they're not marked up. To end this video it would only be fitting to take you guys through a little leg day so that's what we're gonna do in my new little garage gym. And you know it would not be a leg day without some glute activation so again like I always do I'm just gonna pick three exercises do them back to back little to no rest for about three sets just to get my muscles warmed up you know work a little bit of a sweat so starting off this leg day, we're gonna be doing squats. Now one of the biggest things that I've improved on with my squats is lowering the weight. Yes, lowering the weight, checking my ego at the door and making sure that I'm not getting that little bunk, <laughs> bunk butt wink at the bottom of the squat, not feeling any tension on my lower back because for a long time I was actually feeling that tension and I wasn't until I realized, Courtney, you gotta calm down, you know? You're being too loud. JK, that's Taylor Swift's song. Um, it wasn't until I realized, realized that you really just have to leave your ego at the door and make sure you're lifting properly. That way you can improve and not get injured because we don't want any injuries. A lower body workout honestly would not be complete without good mornings or some RDLs. These are probably hands down my two most favorite exercises for working my hamstrings. My hamstrings are always so sore after this. My one tip for good mornings and for RDLs is you wanna hinge at the hips. Act like you're pushing your hips backwards and not so much leaning forward with your back, if that makes sense. Like you wanna feel all that tension and that stretch in your hamstrings. And also don't feel like you need to go all the way down, like all the way down to 90 degrees. Definitely just go until you feel that stretch and then lift back up, squeeze at the top and repeat. One thing I definitely like to do is pair different exercises with kind of a more cardio based movement. I don't know, I just, I like sweating a lot in the gym and I like feeling like my heart rate is high and, and it's kind of just my way to sneak in a little cardio. Maybe if I forgot to do my morning run that day because it was a little too cold outside or you know, maybe if I'm not feeling like doing cardio after my workout, it's definitely just a quick and easy way to get some cardio in. Okay, but I totally forgot how obsessed I was this summer with doing pull-throughs because all I had was this red band. Me and this red band were best friends during the summer. And so I'm definitely gonna start incorporating those more. You can do this with a band. You could do this on the cable machine if your gym's open. I like this movement. Great way to target your glutes. Oh, look, it's me sneaking in a little bit more cardio because I didn't go for my run this morning. But it's okay because I'm gonna go for my run tomorrow. I promise. I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I don't know if I'm the only one, but I'm like obsessed with having perfect or close to perfect form on sumo deadlifts. I'm all about protecting my back. So again, we wanna make sure we check our egos at the door. It's okay, we're lifting for ourselves. We are all at our own paces, pace, paces. Two quick little tips for you is to lift with your legs. Try not to lift with your back. Try not to round your back at all. Keep your back neutral. And also control this movement on the way back down as well. Don't just slam it back down. Make sure you're controlling it all the way through. And there I go again, sneaking in some more cardio. Just a little step, steppy, a little lateral shuffle steps. Some of my favorites from the summer. But yeah, that's all. <laughs> And that's gonna complete my first workout using my brand new squat rack. I hope that you guys liked this video. Make sure to give it a like if you liked it and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and I'll see you guys all in the next Vlogmas episode.